the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I work in the area of chemical ecology and I am currently synthesizing and testing relatively volatile simple organics as potential chemical attractants or repellents targeted towards the American cockroach and I envision taking chemical agents of interest to me and saturating a pellet of activated carbon high surface area with the chemical agent generally the chemicals I'm working with boil at 50 to 150 degrees Celsius at atmospheric pressure and uh, what I want to do is to coat the pellets with a time-release agent a non-toxic non-accumulating chemical a coating uh, very slowly biodegradable. Well, I'm focusing right now on glycerol, cross-linked, water-soluble starch, and the material is a colloidal solution, and I'm hoping that it will be a, a, uh, a good time-release agent for my work in chemical ecology. The uh, material is hypertonic. In other words, it soaks up water. And these gels are definitely non toxic because they're made from water soluble starch and uh, glycerin, glycerol. And uh, they're reported to range from slowly to totally non biodegradable depending on the water content. For example, at 50% mass mass concentrations, aqueous solutions, or greater they are reported to be non-biodegradable for years. At less than 50 percent, microbes, I would imagine, uh, are able to start to break down uh, the substance. I have a colleague who's a microbiologist and he will be studying the degradation of this colloidal material with selected microbes. I'm currently conducting research, as I mentioned, within the domain of chemical ecology and I hope to entrain relatively volatile chemical agents that attract or repel the American cockroach. The rationale being that a very thin coating of this gel over a saturated activated carbon pellet with the uh, saturated with the chemical agent of choice will slowly release the chemical vapor over days not hours. And uh, what you, you don't want to certainly in chemical ecology be using uh, accumulating uh, non-biodegradable pesticides and everything. It's uh, chemical ecology can, one area of it deals with uh, the chemicals that attract or repel organisms in in uh, the environment. Here's what the gel looks like and uh, let me show you this film. I'm currently working with the preparation of cross-linked water-soluble starch colloidal solutions as you can see here that are hypertonic, so they will soak up water. And uh, this composition in front of me is uh, approximately five grams of water soluble starch, cross linked with ten times as much by mass glycerin, held to 150 degrees for 15 minutes, cooled then slowly to room temperature. These gels are described as being non biodegradable over months. Non toxic, of course, used for biological specimen preservation. I'm actually interested in using the material to train chemical agents of interest to me in my work with attracting and development with the American cockroach, part of the chemical ecology. Uh, my hope is to take activated carbon and uh, place the chemical agent of choice within the pores of activated carbon and then coat the pellets with this slowly biodegradable gel. Reporting solution. Um, 
microbes have a much greater chance of breaking this material down. My colleague is uh, here at the school, so I'm going to work on that aspect, studying the uh, biodegradation of various microbes, microbial uh, species. And uh, the solution is greater than 50%. Uh, the material, particularly from 50 to 100 percent, the material is supposed to be not biodegradable over the years. So, uh, see how easy it is to apply. Put it on some paper here. And hopefully, you can see that it is a gel. And I'll put a light coat of that over activated carbon. The rationale being that if we can get the coat slowly break down over days versus hours, uh, it might be a very effective time release agent for volatile organic chemicals that I'm using. For example, the EL lactic acid, the lactic acid. I've noted that a single uh, subject, a male American cockroach, approached one drop of racemic lactic acid on a piece of filter paper within five minutes. And then I sweep in the vapor and then moving quickly towards the uh, soil. But easily, relatively, uh, they're going to follow the larger way. So the rationale here is that I can have a time utilization It'll react with moisture on the surface slowly. The vapor pressure evenly over a longer period of time. So it's an interesting substance. And uh, I'll also see how effective it is at first. If you have any questions or comments, I know that the, the audio was a little difficult to pick up, but any interest uh, in collaborative work or anything, here's where you can reach me.